Two bridges first built in the 1800s over the Wissahickon Creek in Philadelphia will be rehabbed with the help of federal funds. And these are bridges particularly important to the northwest part of the city. NBC 10's Lauren Meg joins us now with more on that. And Lauren, you spoke to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. What did he have to say about all this? Yeah, that's right. We talked about these projects that we're talking about here. And we also talked a little politics. First, though, these are the bridges, the Valley Green Road Bridge and the Bells Mill Road Bridge. You may have used them going between Roxborough and Chestnut Hill, for example, or to Wissahickon Valley Park. They have been carrying Philly traffic for a very long time. <laughs> On the Valley Green Road Bridge, a marker dates initial construction to the 1800s and a rebuild a century ago. Now handling the pressures of modern commutes, this bridge and the Bells Mill Road Bridge also over the Wissahickon are getting rehabbed. This is a design which uh, accounts for things like the damage from Hurricane Ida, uh, flooding that has impacted them, and includes features to use natural infrastructure to restore wetlands in ways that should mean less flooding for the future. I talked today to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg about the decision to fund the Philadelphia Project. Uh, what stuck out about those bridges that... Um, made you choose them uh, as part of this round of funding? Well, one reason this project did so well and got a $14 million award from our department is there's a demonstrated need. You have two bridges that are deteriorating. Uh, they have needed attention for a long time, and they affect a, a whole stretch of road and uh, that, that whole area along the creek. Both bridges are rated in poor condition by the State Department of Transportation, along with more than 70 others in the city. The federal funding to fix them comes from the bipartisan infrastructure bill, the same one that provided millions for the MLK bridge Buttigieg visited last month. The Biden administration has made an effort to highlight the projects the bill is paying for as President Biden runs for re-election. But the approach drew some criticism recently from Biden's former chief of staff, Ron Klain. Politico and CNN reporting Klain saying Biden was spending too much time talking about bridges. I asked the secretary who's run for president himself. What do you make uh, of that critique? Well, I understand what he means. As a matter of fact, I wound up uh, uh, by chance uh, seeing him that same day, I have enormous respect for him. And, you know, Ron Klain is one of the reasons why we have this infrastructure package and, and are able to do these roads and bridges. He was talking about campaign strategy, which is uh, something I certainly understand, but is not our focus here at the Department of Transportation. You've run for office uh, yourself. You understand uh, how it works. Do you think that the most effective message is, is to talk about uh, bridges that may not be done for years? Uh, we're to focus on things that people are seeing, like prices at the grocery store. Uh, what do you think it, it impacts and connects with voters? Well, our, our view is that all of these things are connected. So in, in policy terms, we look at supply chains, for example, not because not we're transportation nerds, but because we know that if we have smoother supply chains, that affects shipping costs and that benefits the fight against inflation. Now, I reached out to the city to get some details about what happens now with those two bridges. They sent me some information from Streets Commissioner Kristen Del Rossi saying that the funding is for both the design and construction phases for both structures and that it's anticipated the design phase will last about two years and the construction phase another two years. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.